Justin, obviously just sort of the unique situation here with the, the week in between where you guys had some downtime. What has mm -hmm. that week been like for you guys as players, and, and how do you, I guess, stay in that mindset of being ready to play a playoff game? Yeah, I think we would have preferred to just play the past weekend, but the rest was good for some guys that are maybe dealing with a little bit of issues. So it was good in that sense, and it, was, it wasn't really too hard to stay focused or keep the intensity in training because we have a really big game coming up, and everybody's looking forward to it. When you look at sort of the, or maybe let me rephrase that, you guys se seemingly are the favorite in this match. When it comes to sort of the prognostications by people, how mm -hmm. much do you pay attention to that? Does it impact the way you guys prepare at all or, or look at this game? Yeah, I don't think it matters at all to us or to anybody really because if you look at the last round, especially Miami, Columbus, Cincinnati all out, and if you look before playoffs started, they would have been the three favorites in the East. And in these types of games where one mistake or one good moment could change the whole game, it really doesn't matter who's the favorite. Just to build off on that, I mean, this is a big occasion, there's pressure, but I'm, I'm kind of reminded of something Keaton said earlier in the season, which is pressure is a privilege. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if that's something you subscribe to as you head into these big mm -hmm. moments, that it's a joy to be part of it. Yeah, feels. I mean, definitely, I'm really excited for this game, and I think these are the type of games growing up, especially the two teams from New York, that you kind of dream of playing in, and now it's a playoff game too, so it adds a little something else to it, but everybody's just really excited, and I wouldn't... I don't feel like anybody's really too tense about the moment. We're all just kind of enjoying it. On to the Zoom, Joel. Hey, Justin. Joel LaFave from Sportsmall. You've stepped up in a couple of pretty big pressure situations this season, uh, taking penalty kicks. I'm just wondering if there was a difference in emotion for yourself stepping up with uh, a chance to win the game in the League's Cup against uh, the New England Revolution, as opposed to a couple of weeks ago, uh, knowing that the season was essentially on your foot. Maybe talk us through if there was a difference between the two. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess looking back at it, maybe a little bit, but... I think in the moment, you, I kind of just black out everything else and focus on uh, what I have to do. So maybe I would say there was like a little bit less pressure for the New England penalty just because if I would have missed, it would have still gone on. But I would say for both of them, I was just really focused on, on the penalty itself and not the moment. John? Uh, Justin, you, there are no secrets between these two teams, and you know they're going to try and press you and, and create those turnovers, but we also know that you guys like to have possession of the ball. So what do you think will be some of the keys to being able to withstand their pressure? And also in a matchup that's this close, what do you think will be some of the other underlying factors? I think the biggest thing for us in the start of the game would just be composure. We need a, Whenever these games turn into too much how they want to play, I think that's when we struggle. So if we can really play our game and control the game how we want to, that will set us up to be um, successful. And I think a big part of this game will be set pieces just because they're very strong um, from set pieces. So that will be something we need to focus on. And, yeah. Chris? Hey, Justin. Chris Campbell from the outfield. Um, you guys allowed just two goals um, across three matches against Cincinnati. Um, you know, how uh, you know how is the defensive back line um, feeling going into this match, and, and how does the uh, the communication between yourself, Tiago, and Matt Freeze uh, kind of benefit that? Yeah, I think it's a relationships that kind of started towards the end of the year, so we've still been developing it in training and stuff. But I would say everybody's feeling good. I feel. Uh, we first, me and Tiago feel very strong with Matt behind us because he's had such a good year, and we know that he'll he'll always be able to pull out uh, a save that could save the team. We saw it at City Field a few times in Cincinnati, and then in terms of me and Tiago, we we speak a lot off the field, so I would say we have a good relationship, and we're always just uh, looking to help each other in these types of games.